All right. Looks like, um, Ms. Kathy, are we ready for you? We are ready. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask Mr. Casey to help me by pulling up a video. We're going to be honoring somebody very special here in a few minutes, but in order to frame tonight's recognition for you, we have a video that talks about STEM in the gym. And if you were there that night, you know what a fantastic night it was. If you weren't there, our hope is that this video is going to let you see just what you missed. contacted by Kenya because she had an idea with the Raytown PTA Council to initiate a science, technology, engineering, mathematics night. She knew that there was a need based on her conversations with people in the community and we started to form a committee to establish the night. I had no idea what it would look like, but I knew that just in talking to other parents that our kids and our parents were definitely hungry for something like this. They did not have anything like this event uh, when I was younger. Uh, we could do science fairs, you know, where students could demonstrate it, but to have the opportunity to go from station to station and learn a wide variety from technology to engineering to the math and everything, there were no events like that when I was younger. No. When I was a kid, um, we had opportunities like this where we were doing things like volcanoes, so I think it's really cool as I looked at some of the other exhibits in the room, uh, more technological things that kids can come in and see. I think that's uh, really important for them to see those things and really gain a, gain a good understanding of what's going on. I was amazed because it's a science fair and it was more kids than if it was a basketball game. I was really impressed with the turnout we had. I thought the community response was fantastic. I was also really impressed with all the outside vendors we had. It's clear that in the Raytown community and in our surrounding communities, we have a lot of people who are really dedicated to the STEM careers. When I saw the first family uh, go through the doors at 5.40 tonight, I, was, I just knew it was going to be an instant success. In choosing activities, we looked at things that we thought would be really engaging to students. We wanted to take what they do in the classroom and extend it beyond. So we really wanted to get kids in the door, excited, get them fired up so that when they go back to school and that <coughs> science block rolls around, they're all the more excited to, to uh, learn. My favorite activity tonight was you got to see if your hair would pop out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really interesting. The most interesting part to me tonight was learning that 18 packets of sugar can cause a can of soda to sink. <laughs> My favorite event about this night was where we got to build a bridge with toothpicks and marshmallows. Um, it was fun because we got to experiment with what we knew and then we got to also learn how to make a bridge. The exhibit that we showed tonight was uh, an exhibit to show how we take wheat from the farmers and convert it into flour. Uh, I think tonight was a perfect example of why we need science. We had uh, youth engineers in here uh, whose job literally revolves around science. Uh, we had uh, even building Legos, they were talking to kids about the construction, about you know what uh, objects would become the strongest or make their structures the strongest um, with the uh, rods, the vanishing rods and the mixing of oil and water. Uh, you know that lends itself to all sorts of other uh, avenues and careers and later in life. And uh, science is everywhere in our lives. Science is important because it's our window into everything we do. It's our window into automotives. It's our window into sports. It's our window into medicine. It's even a window into how we deal with each other, understanding what we're made of and what we're all about. Well, our kids love science. That is something that they look forward to. They talk about it all the time. Anytime they can get their hands in there and get hands on, experience with it, they love to. They love science. Uh, when I get to do things like this, it's really the highlight of my day, highlight of my week. It's a, it's a great part of my job to be able to go out back into the community and show people how we do things. And like I said, it just helps people gain interest in what we do. The Rachel community never ceases to amaze me. Their support for our school district is amazing. They come out for everything that we invite them to. I was shocked when I pulled in to see all the cars and then even more just 
so grateful to administrators, uh, district personnel we're here tonight uh, representing, and I would just highly encourage everyone the next time we have this event to join in because uh, it was really powerful for the families to see that the people of the district also believe in this event, and we just need to spread that love and passion for science uh, amongst everybody. The community from all over came together to participate in one event that's making sure our kids were aware and that can broaden their horizons in ways they can't even imagine. It was really fantastic to see all of our Raytown schools, uh, teachers, and our many student groups from the secondary schools, and all of our administrators, uh, and everyone come out and just really be together um, in the name of, of science, technology, and engineering. It's super fun, and it, it helps you learn all about science, math, and a lot of other stuff. If you stayed home, you really missed out. We had fantastic vendors from everything from the Society of Black Engineers to the Lego Brick Builders. We had Brian Busby here. We had Mad Science. We had demonstrations by our own Raytown Quality School teachers. There was just something for everyone. So put it on your calendar for next year because you're going to want to be here. Please come next year because you can always learn some interesting facts about science that you didn't know before. Without science, everything else is never going to be as good as it can be. John Nash says that behind every uh, successful project is a is a visionary. So I could just call you the visionary, okay. but it would be more appropriate to introduce you as Mrs. Kenya Peters. Ms. Peters has two children who attend school in our district. She's a wife and a mom, and in my capacity, having met her this year, uh, she is third vice president of the Raytown PTA Council and the one who is organizing programs and things. Like you saw Tyler Britt say at the very beginning, this was a germ of an idea. And then uh, Kenya and I met, uh, and we met with Danielle throughout uh, the, co the course of what, about four months, yeah. picked a date. And then um, my hair used to be really, really straight, but it got curly because Miss Kenya came around me in a big whirlwind and curled me all up. And we were a ball of activity for about eight weeks, I guess, uh, maybe even a little bit longer than that. But not only was she the visionary, she was the one who engineered it all and actually made it happen. I hope that the video portrayed uh, how great the night was. I know that many of you were there, but it was an unbelievable number of kids. Um, and the donation that you saw on tonight's uh, agenda from uh, Kenavision and Mr. Ben Hope was a direct result of the microscope donation that Kenya got. So she went, she talked to Kenavision, she said, you know, could you come and bring your microscopes? And they said, we can do you one better. We can give microscopes to your school if you get a certain percentage of folks. So Danielle creates a QR code, we start scanning kids in, and we suddenly realize that each of our elementary schools got five, is that right? Five microscopes. Huh? No? I think I don't, I don't think Come on. it was quite five. I do think <laughs> it was they, five. But they committed to giving five uh, if it was basically, I think, one per two. Was one? 25 kids. For every 25 kids, but I think we got up to the fact where each of our schools, yeah, each of our schools got five microscopes. So, which is just, I mean, that's just crazy. The value of those is, as you saw on the agenda item, uh, great, great. So, um, I wanted to take this opportunity to uh, recognize Kenya for a quality contribution to the Raytown C2 School District and also to offer you the opportunity to say something if you'd like to about the night. <coughs> Or the experience? Well, I'm really glad that you did the taping because even though I was nervous about it at first, because I didn't get to experience it. I worked it, but I didn't experience it. And so just seeing it all come together, it um, I, there aren't there aren't words. And the thing that really, you know, the thing that really stood out to me, of course, was later on that evening when I was putting my son to bed, he was like, Oh, I can't wait until next year to go to science night. I'm like, that's what it's about. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so this yeah. certificate says that we recognize and thank you for thank that you. contribution. And then, because you've publicly spoken about it, we'll just make that assumption. I'll go ahead and sign you up to plan the next one, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we roll in Raytown, my friend. All right. Congratulations and thank you. I remember when you came and spoke with us, uh, what, three months ago, four months ago? Mm -hmm. And you were so excited then. and. We all got so excited just hearing you talk about it. So uh, I was so thrilled to see all of the good information that came out about it. And 
even just hearing families talk about it um, that had attended, it was really neat to hear. Thank you. I have a question. Yes, Ms. Sullivan. The contacts, you made contact with all of those individuals like Brian Busby and yeah. uh, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. really awesome. You have some connections. I want to meet you after the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I told her she didn't have to stay, so you may have to go. Oh, okay. well, 